Hello guys, Andrew here. Um, today, we're going to be making a, uh, a video about the Sedell Dimension 3000. What kind of a video, you ask? Well, as the title may suggest, today we are going to be upgrading it because, well, it's got a Celeron. And, uh, well, this it's just not very good. Some of us in the tech industry here like to nickname it the Intel Celery. And uh, that's because, much like not many people like Celery, not many people like Celerons. I actually do like Celery, but I don't like Celerons because Celerons are bad. But all jokes aside, we're going to be upgrading this today to a Intel Pentium 4, 2.4 uh, gigahertz. I believe the Celeron in here is 2.2 gigahertz or something. And um, we're also going to be upgrading the memory because it only has 256 megabytes. We're going to be upgrading to 512. Uh, currently it has Windows XP Media Center Edition. That was a real hassle to get running and it runs like crap. So we're going to be upgrading it so that hopefully it might actually do something useful and not run like a piece of crap. So, without further ado, let's get into the upgrade. Okay, so, uh, so Dell was really smart with this uh, particular era of dimensions. Uh, this is, uh, as I said, a Dimension 3000. Uh, they are, uh, I really, really like this series. Just because, first of all, they look really good, and second, they're really easy to open up. All you do is slide this little thing down and uh, pull the side panel right off. Usually you can do it with one hand, but it's kind of stuck, so I, was, I didn't use two. But, nonetheless, we are now inside the machine, and uh, if we lay it on its side here, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll reposition the camera, you can see that uh, there's this big green uh, fan shroud, and uh, that can be e very easily removed. Um, all you need to do is uh, uh, you, you just lift this up, hopefully move the power cord out of the way, lift it up, and then if you would like... Uh, which I'm going to do just to make things easier. You can just uh, pull it right off. And actually, this whole fan back here comes off. You just pull it down and off. But I don't want to do that today because that's not necessary. But uh, if you're going to strip the whole machine, then yeah. This is uh, this whole case is essentially a toolless design. Um, you, you don't. There's no uh, side panel screws holding it on. Uh, no uh, screwed on heat sink. In fact, the heat sink uh, we're actually going to do first. Um, now, these uh, these older series Dell heat sinks uh, tend to want to take the processor with them if when you remove them. So don't be too surprised if it comes with you if you're following along with this upgrade. Um, hopefully, it won't happen to us. Uh, I'll be very careful. Oh, and look at that. There's a little processor attached to the heat sink there. And an empty socket. Hmm. That's not good. But what is good is that it looks like none of the pins are bent. So hopefully, I'm just gonna check here to make sure the uh that it still goes back into its socket. And indeed it does. Just so that's perfect. All right. So at least our CPU should hopefully still work. But uh, in this little anti-static bag, we have our Pentium 4. So we can go ahead and uh, pull that out um, and put our Celeron back in. And uh, there's already some thermal paste on there because this is my second time shooting this video but um anyway so you so you can just uh, set it gently down in there you don't want to use any force just kind of wiggle it around until it's seated in there then you can bring down the lever and uh, I'm just going to look because it doesn't look like it's in there all the way but it is okay that's good and now to uh, reinstall the heatsink you simply set it on there at an angle Push it all the way back and click it down, just like that. Uh, now we can uh, take our fan shroud. If I can not drop it, uh, you can just reattach 
right there, just like that. Move the uh, 24 pin power out of the way. Well, that case is 20 pin because it's older. Um, and now we can upgrade the the, uh, the memory. Uh, now, actually, we're not going to be upgrading to 512. There's one stick of 256 in there. And I believe if we venture into the uh, bag of uh, DDR RAM, that's what this machine uses, being from the uh, 2005 or 2004 to 2005 era. And uh, I believe in here, oh, yes, I do. Um, in this bag, I actually don't need another 256 stick because I have a stick of 512. I don't know if you can read that. Hopefully you can. Come on. Focus. Anyways, it says 512 on it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and add that for a total of uh, 768 megs. Hopefully that should satisfy Media Center Edition into uh, running correctly. If I can properly seat the memory. There it is. Now to install it. Now to uh, fully seat it, all you have to do is push down one corner then the other. Hopefully it'll click in perfectly. If not, you can always bring the, uh, the lever, the, uh, side, the uh, clips up by itself, which in this case I didn't need to do because it clicked in by itself. Now, with that done, we can uh, go ahead and uh, sit the computer back up. Take our side panel here and uh, reconnect it. And now we can go ahead and hook this computer up to that monitor right up there. And it can sit right there under my desk across from my other computer over there. Now, if you'll uh, give me a minute, I will uh, set this machine up over there and uh, we'll take a look at it. Okay, now with the uh, computer hooked up there, we can uh, go ahead and zoom into the monitor and set it on the tripod here. That went pretty well. And uh, go ahead and sit down here and, uh, you know, see if, uh, see if this computer will boot. Hit the power button here. Right now, um, let's get the BIOS. Crap, I missed the, uh, I missed the, let's try that again, I, uh, I missed the key. Alright, let's try that again. F2, so it's entering setup, and that's good. Um, is actually the second time I've done this because my freaking camera battery died, so I had to replace it. But nonetheless, here we are on the BIOS, uh, in Alpenium 4 at 2.4 gigahertz. That's good, and it is not 11:27. Actually, yes, it is. I forgot I set the time, and it's not Thursday, January 5th of 2006. That's for sure. It is actually. June, and it is the 25th of 2016, it's a Saturday, and um, alright, make sure, yep, it's got the hard drive and CD-ROM still, that's good, alright, now skip exit, and um, let's see if it'll boot to XP, I actually want it to this time, not, alright, start was normally, it was going to start normally before, but, um, you know, I had to reboot to get into the BIOS. Now, um, hopefully, it'll go well this time and XP won't completely flop as it did before. I've got to, I actually have it hooked up to this uh, really interesting keyboard here. It's, uh, first of all, it's a natural keyboard, which I really like. It's like one of those older Microsoft natural keyboards, and it has a trackpad built in right here. And I really like that. I think that's uh, really useful. Okay, and um, got to install trackpad drivers apparently. It's not, uh, trackpad's not doing anything. I've actually not used this trackpad before. 
Alright, it needs me to restart to just finish installing drivers. Okay. Uh, but it looks like it works, which is good. what I was trying to do. Let's try that again. Dimension 3000, etc. Not trying to hibernate, I was trying to restart. Why is this thing stupid? Okay, well, huh. Now the trackpad works anyway. Alright, now I don't need to restart. Okay. Now, uh, as you can see here, we're at the uh, desktop trackpad's word, and so is the keyboard. Let's see if the uh, system properties text it. Alright, Intel Pentium 4, 2.4 GHz, 768 megabytes of RAM. Perfect. Media Center Edition uh, version 2002. It's actually running the unofficial service pack 4. Um, it looks like everything's working. Uh, that's good. So, um, whoops, I accidentally started uh, publishing 2003. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Uh, but if you did enjoy it, uh, leave a comment down below and consider subscribing for more stuff like this. And uh, I'll see all you guys in the next video.